Tomorrow is the birthday of his only granddaughter. And he really hopes to make her happy with something significant and unusual. Mikhail sits on the porch, rolling his own tobacco cigarette, while caressing the head of his loyal wolf friend. In the early spring sunlight, the wolf reveals its gray-white belly. Mikhail reflects on his life, feeling there's enough material to write an entire novel. He appears to be a simple village, boy like any other. But life events have led him through many twists and turns. He married the girl he deeply loved at an early age, and she loved him just as much. Returning from the military still very young, despite doctors advising against having children due to her weak heart, they welcomed a child. Despite facing many hardships, their love grew stronger. They longed for children. But instead of having just one, they had many. However, everything unfolded completely differently. His wife gave birth to a son. But she fell seriously ill herself. Even to the point where working was impossible. Mikhail forbade her from doing any strenuous activities and the doctors told her she couldn't lift heavy objects. He took it upon himself to care for the child, cook, manage the household, doing everything for her. He protected his beloved wife with utmost care. Fifteen years have passed, and although she endured much hardship, after giving birth, she continued to live strong. However, they never decided to have more children. Vera, his wife, always held a grudge in her heart, reproaching her husband, saying, you won't let me lose face, will you? Those women will mock me. I do nothing, I rely entirely on a man. What kind of housewife am I? But women didn't mock her, they admired her. Oh, Vera is truly remarkable. Could you rent us your Mikhail? Even for a day. To let us experience your life. She would just smile in response. With a smile. She departed from this world. Mikhail cried for several days. But no matter how much he cried. His wife couldn't come back. He had to raise his son and ensure he stood firmly on his own feet. However, fate once again decided to act in its own way, the son completed his education, went to the city for further studies, and then was sent to the Far East for military service. Eventually, he decided to stay there, as the place deeply attracted him. Honestly, after Vera's death, the relationship between Mikhail and his son wasn't good. Each dealt with their pain in their own ways. Unfortunately, this didn't bring them closer, instead, the distance between them grew. The son respected and revered his father, but there was a lack of intimacy between them. Thus, Mikhail became entirely a lonely person. Yet, he wasn't despondent, he enjoyed mingling with young people, sharing rumors near the rural grocery store, or chatting on benches near his home. In the village, both the young and the old admired Mikhail. He was a kind, hard-working, and abstemious man, only indulging in a bit of white wine. On special occasions, he rarely wrote letters, preferring to live his own life and seldom mentioning his personal or family matters. Mikhail knew his son had a family, and on the other side of the country, there was a growing granddaughter named Veronica, presumably named after her late grandmother. Mikhail had been looking forward to their visit, but for various reasons, 
it seemed they could never make it. Perhaps it was the busyness of work, insufficient time, or various other reasons. He only saw his granddaughter through photos. She was already seven years old, but she had never met her grandfather. However, while Mikhail didn't get a visit from his family, he made a loyal friend, not an ordinary mongrel but a true wolf. Initially, it was just a wolf pup when Mikhail rescued it from poachers. Although the pup was injured during the rescue, with its mother killed, a few days later, it refused to eat. Lying there, extending its injured paw resting its head on the healthy side. Eventually, Mikhail successfully persuaded it, and the wolf pup finally lapped up a bowl of milk. From that moment on, the young wolf fully trusted its savior. As the summer passed, the young wolf grew, its chest fur gleaming with luster, embodying a robust stature. It became incredibly adorable and loyal after a while. Mikhail successfully turned this wolf into his devoted friend. He constructed a sturdy and spacious enclosure specifically for this friendly and cheerful wild creature. Occasionally burying treats for his friend there, however, the wolf still preferred to live in the house by the warm fireplace. Over time, the wolf started venturing into the forest more frequently silently leaving home for two or three days and then reappearing by the cabin curling up next to its beloved fireplace one day villagers noticed mikhail who usually walked around the village like a dark cloud no longer smiling and joking as usual nor sitting on the bench in front of his house they began asking what had happened it turned out he received a letter from his daughter-in-law, stating that their family had been in a car accident. Their granddaughter was critically injured and hospitalized, and Mikhail's son had tragically passed away. Two months had gone by, and he hadn't even had the chance to say goodbye, as he only learned of the news today. And more importantly, there was no other information. His daughter-in-law neither wrote nor responded to telegrams, nor answered calls. How could he find out about his granddaughter's condition? The old man immediately prepared to leave. But fate once again took a dramatic turn. On the morning he was preparing to leave, a car pulled up in front of his house. A young and agile woman stepped out seeing Mikhail in the yard. She asked if he was the father of her late husband. Mikhail confirmed this, and she told him she had brought his granddaughter, asking for his help in unloading a wheelchair. Mikhail felt joy because the woman said, I brought your granddaughter, please. Help with unloading the wheelchair. Finally, the daughter-in-law and granddaughter came to see the old man together. However, the old man's joy was short-lived as the young woman didn't explain anything, sat back in her car, and drove away. The old man found some medical documents among his granddaughter's belongings and gradually learned the truth. It turned out the woman was not the child's biological mother but her stepmother. The granddaughter's biological mother had left the family when the child was very young. Mikhail's son, soon after the daughter's birth, began to indulge excessively, providing poor care for the child. Eventually, his wife left the family and disappeared forever. Mikhail's son was once listed as a missing person. But a year later, he remarried. These revelations added to the old man's distress that that's why the stepmother was unwilling to take care of someone else's child and 
brought Veronica to him. Now. The old man understood why his son didn't. Want him involved in his life, he was merely. Protecting his father. In the accident. Veronica's injuries were not severe, most. Were psychological trauma. She experienced some paralysis. But doctors were confident she would. Eventually stand up. Needing only time and some encouragement. So. Mikhail began caring for his only biological child. Surrounding her with care and love. Most importantly. The little girl found a true gray companion. Under her grandfather's care. She gradually recovered. Accompanying him almost every week. To the witch in the neighboring village. Who provided some herbs for the little girl. Mikhail used various potions and ointments. To aid in his granddaughter's recovery. One evening. An unexpected event occurred. While the old man was sitting by the sick bed as usual, two young people suddenly burst in. It turned out that Mikhail had forgotten to lock the door due to negligence. And these two drug addicted youths heard that the old man was using some mysterious drugs to treat his paralyzed granddaughter. So they decided to pay him a visit. One of them even suggested taking advantage of the situation with the girl afterward. They didn't anticipate facing fierce resistance. At that moment, as these thugs were beating and tormenting the old man a wolf burst into the room. The wolf almost tore the miscreants apart. And somehow, they managed to escape and fled from the house onto the street. The wolf chased after them. At the end of the hallway, Veronica rushed to help her grandfather. Lying in a pool of blood. She didn't even realize how it happened at first. And in that moment, she didn't consider herself at all. Evidently because the pressure acted as a trigger. From that moment on, Veronica eventually stood up. Now. She began taking care of her grandfather. And treating his wounds especially after that attack. Now. They became a truly united family. If you enjoyed this story. Please like. Subscribe to this channel. And stay tuned for more interesting content. Wishing you all the best, a woman who. Was hit by a car for speeding was. In for the worst but then a dog miraculously showed up. In Georgia. There is a quaint town. Shannon lived in this quiet place for a long time. And she remembers living in the home. With her husband who. Like everyone else in the community. Lived together. Until January 26th. Shannon experienced a life changing event. That night. She and her husband had a fight and while quarrels are common in marriages. The escalation accelerated and Shannon. Struggled to cope. After the argument. Shannon wanted a little privacy. So she left the house and headed for her car. Which was freezing cold due to the cooling at night. She jumped into the car and left quickly although she has many years of driving experience and knows the traffic rules she doesn't want to think about safety yet all because she is very angry it seemed like an outlet so she picked up the pace she drove faster and faster her heart pounding against her chest if you go to georgia you will notice that there are large forests in this area the state has a lot of lush trees while such views are often admired, they can sometimes be a source of distress for travelers or drivers. Known for its long, winding roads, combined with countless trees, one should exercise caution, especially when driving the famous Nazca roads. Shannon finally took that road. Although she heard that traffic accidents in this 
area are prone to occur. The emotions in the quarrel still made her very angry. Safety was not her first consideration. And then Shannon still on the windy path. When she first approached a dangerous bend, she was able to steer the car without issue. Before she needed to turn again, which she quickly learned. Shannon recalled. When I came into the second corner, the car wasn't the same as it was in the previous turn. This time the rear of the car was broken. Shannon was thrown from the driver's seat and through the car's rear glass. When the poor woman awoke again, her head hit the glass and she was unconscious. Her mind was spinning. She couldn't foresee the situation she was in, because everything was a blur. She could feel her legs in the back seat. Her body in an uncomfortable position. She was trapped. Because my car hit a tree. Anyone passing by couldn't see me. Shannon said. Her car slammed into a tree suddenly and violently. Only to be noticed when people stopped and walked. Cars were flying by. And people couldn't see how messed up the place was. Shannon realized that no one was coming for her. And she panicked. Thinking of her husband and their argument. And regretting driving to where she was now. She was so weak that she cried with all. Her might when Shannon was about to give up. A curious dog suddenly approached the car. As a stray dog rescued the dying woman. From a car crash. She was convinced that she would be trapped. There forever and no one would find her until she was unconscious. Reflecting on the moment. Shannon said, I didn't know if it was. Making the rounds. I didn't know if it was going back to its original owner. But it met me and I thank God it did. The dog dragged her she walked more than. 100 feet to get help. And thanks to this amazing act of kindness. The woman was saved. The mysterious animal dragged her from. A tree to a meadow and eventually they reached. An area next to a road. Shannon had a better chance of being rescued. On the side of the road because drivers were. More likely to see her. However. Shannon still felt she needed to do more and. Lay on the ground waiting for a car to come by. Encouraged by the furry animal. Shannon attempted to drag herself away. From the bushes. She struggled at first. But the dog didn't give up on her. So it got close to her and bent down slightly. As if sticking out its neck towards her. Shannon put his arm around the dog's neck. And pulled as hard as she could, standing up for the first time since the crash. She could feel the wind on her hair and skin. It was a cold night and she didn't have. Many clothes on. The thought of the dog walking on for her. Warmed her heart. But they stood together. Waiting for someone to come. A car finally came when Shannon grabbed the D.O.G. that IT was dark and she couldn't see very well. So she couldn't tell what kind of car it was. Still. Shannon was overjoyed when the car pulled. Up to where she and the dog were. With all her strength. She leaned through the window and asked. The passengers for help. She almost cried. She said, I just crashed the car, can you call my husband? She used a lot of strength for Shannon's fragile body. But she soon fainted again fall down. She was unconscious and the stranger in the car quickly called and offered her the help she needed. When Shannon opened her eyes some time later, she found herself lying on a hospital bed. After she woke up, a doctor came to her soon after, recalling what had happened to her. Although Shannon was still hazy in her sleep, she could make out the doctor's worried expression. The doctor said her name discreetly, Shannon. You've got a bit of a brain bleed. 
After hearing the nerve-wracking news, the doctors and nurses had to figure out whether their new patient needed surgery. A brain hemorrhage can be serious. So they need to make the best decision possible to make sure Shannon is okay. While she waited, Shannon lay in bed. And while she had been resting, her thoughts returned to the fight. The car crash and the dog that had saved her life. Everything that had happened in the past. 24 hours seemed like a dream, hours passed before the doctor returned. To Shannon's room. Fortunately, the doctors confirmed that the bleeding was not significant and as long as she kept resting, her body would heal itself. Meaning she didn't need any expensive or dangerous surgery and she could return to the home comfortably under the care of her husband. Shannon was able to fully recover because of everything the dog did. It was a fantastic animal. If he hadn't saved me, I wouldn't be here today, Shannon said. She was full of praise for the dog. Even though Shannon initially thought the dog had an owner and that it had just gotten lost. Yet after such a heroic act, they could no longer ignore the dog. The dog was taken in by the Humane Society. As Shannon recovered from his injuries, this dog has attracted a lot of attention. And he was lucky enough to be adopted. Since then, it has been given a name that many consider to be the perfect expression of its character. He was named Hero. And Heidi was adopted by Heidi Drudy. This woman is a canine search and rescue instructor and she couldn't have been a better owner of this rescue dog. Heidi immediately began training Hero, who she plans to become a certified search and rescue dog. A search and rescue dog that's ready to go. We're training it right now. And it's doing a really good job, Heidi explained. It's amazing to think that a hero can be there. To find someone in need. Without any kind of training. Everyone can see how pure it is inside. Shannon shared in the interview. The video was quickly uploaded to the internet. And has amassed thousands of views. Towards the end of the video, Shannon burst into tears as she thanked the dog for helping her. It will always be my hero. If you enjoyed hearing this miracle story, please like it below and subscribe for more.